Hi everyone and welcome to PsyQ. I've brought along Laura Wolf. she's a biologist from Berkeley, to talk about a really important topic. We are at a crossroads in genetic research. Gene editing technologies have huge potential for advancing science and improving human health. Powerful new tools like CRISPR-Cas9 allow researchers to modify the genetic code of any living organism with precision. We talked about just one of these examples on TYT interviews recently with one of our own, Praveen Singh, who's TYT's head of corporate development, benefiting from potentially life-saving research into her heart condition, like Praveen's arrhythmia, as well as Huntington's sickle cell anemia, and many cancers is just one of the potential uses of this technology. However, there are complex challenges to these new technologies as well, both to the scientific and medical communities and to society as a whole. Many people think it's okay to fix faulty genes in mature body cells, but altering the germline, eggs and sperm, crosses an ethical line for a lot of people. Changes in the germline can be passed down to future generations, and critics worry that by changing the genetic code of eggs and sperm, we might be tempted to create designer babies or other abuses of this technology. At the moment, researchers have asked for a postponement or moratorium on human germline engineering until they better understand the technology. So how do we move forward with human genetic research when there are such serious risks and concerns? Well, the US National Academy Academy of Sciences, the US National Academy of Medicine, the Chinese Academy of Sciences, and the UK's Royal Society have had a meeting just a few days ago to discuss this very question. The International Summit on Human Gene Editing, where experts discussed the ethical, scientific, and governance issues around these new and emerging human gene editing technologies. The summit marked the beginning of a study that aims to gather comprehensive information about human gene editing technologies and its implications. It will help guide researchers, clinicians, policymakers, and the public. The study will include an in-depth review of the science behind these technologies, as well as the vast implications if they are ever put into use. It's being conducted by a committee of experts, including researchers, doctors, and lawyers, who are expected to release their findings at the end of 2016. The hope is that the committee's study will provide guidance on how to proceed with the research and the application of human gene editing. This is the first time a global community has even had the discussion on whether we should be changing the human genome. So it's exciting times ahead for science.